or maybe I have to attach this way where in this place will be flat and here on the cone will be more false than it needs. How exactly I have to attach this pattern? We have to draw perpendicular line on the line DN and mark this point B1. Line here of the tongue 90 degrees to this line. So we will get here beautiful curved line. This one side of the inner side and this second side of the inner side and they will on the inner side of our leaning. Here we have a zipper and we add here one centimeter. Here, when we finished our uh, our work here, we will place here the stopper which I took off before. Little bit on this edge with the hammer. If I remember, we make smaller and that's why here these lines match each other on the bottom of the last and this is how it must be it's very beautiful clean it right away and before the glue will dry you can clean it before it will dry I start from the top but I continue to attach it according to each edge of the bottom. I'm checking if I got the sanding line as which I did exactly according to the perimeter of my heel. If you still see the edge of your outsole between heel and your boots, you can still scribe it or sand it. What possibilities we have here? If you will connect these two lines and your line will be here, for example, you see you cut from the toe this piece of pattern, so you have to add here same piece and cut, cut here. I can uh, to fold this edge of my upper and after folding attach this elastic band this way. Now here I don't have the glue but I will last here to see if I have empty space on the upper. And now I place, I stopped it, the thread on the middle. I have the equal length from both ends of the thread to make it more smooth I will work with paper with a little bit water and see how it's beautiful look clean and polished look not polished still we will polish it using wax or polish cream to shine the outsole here on the back of the outsole all right what we did in this lesson we created this very cool outsole where we have only half colored and all other part of the outsole has this natural look with stitches and you can use this type of outsole in any other type of the shoe that's it we finished our wood let's see how it looks it's beautiful and today you will learn how to polish your outsole using beeswax and also only today in this lesson you finally understood all benefits of our preparation.